What I'm going to give you is not going to be real detailed. It's going to be pretty general. And that's all I'm going to be able to give you now since things are still unfolding. Okay? Okay. So let's start out with we got a call. First of all, let me introduce to you uh, Assistant Chief Kern Kirkhoff. He's with the fire department whose team also responded. Around 11 o'clock, uh, we, re we, re we received a call. Are you all set? At about 11 o'clock, we received a call about shots fired at the 1,000 block of Legion's place. Uh, we responded to that initial call. We got updated information that we thought and we believed, and we went into an active shooter mode. Uh, that's where shots are still being fired, and we're having to trace the shots to stop the threat. Uh, we, did, we deployed our active shooter teams who have been in the area. You've seen a lot of that activity, uh, clearing various locations. I can confirm to you that we have multiple still in the area. Our SWAT team is on scene, and we're still trying to secure various structures around the area to be sure that the shooter is not still in this immediate area. All in, several investigations units are on scene, and we are seeking to identify uh, who the suspect is, if and when I can get a confirmation on the identity of the suspect, and I need the public's help. I'll be releasing that information. Sergeant Jones, can you give us any uh, description at all? Where he went after the shooting, what direction? Don't know. If I knew where he went, we'd be there taking him out, you know, doing what we have to do based on the threat, right? So right now, uh, we're still seeking, seeking the suspect. We have our uh, different units, uh, follow-up information along with witnesses that were involved who are assisting in trying to identify the suspect. I am not going to release who the suspect is until I can get positive identification of who we are looking for. Do you have reports of any fatalities at this time? We're getting those kind of reports. Bob. Right. Uh, I don't want to confirm the status of any of the victims. I'm just going to say that we have multiple victims. As soon as I get the status on the victims, as you know, medical status can change. Uh, I'll release that information. But uh, all I'm telling you is that it's uh, still considered uh, active because we are still clearing various locations and as soon as I get a description of whom we're looking for I'm hoping to be able to put that out. How much of the building has been cleared right now? How much of the building has been cleared? Do we know? Uh, most of the initial building I believe has been cleared. I can tell you that traffic in the area has been impacted. Uh, the interstate as you know which runs right near Legion's place. Some of the exit ramps and on ramps have been shut down. Uh, you've seen perimeter officers uh, with their long rifles, uh, obviously, uh, we're trying to locate the shooter. And, uh, you know, if any, as soon as I can get the information out, I'll provide you it. How can we help, Sergeant Jones? Because you said you're going to need the public's help to elicit, to find this personal right. person. As soon as I can identify and positively identify who the suspect is, I'm going to release the information. You, you think it's one shooter or more? Uh, it's my understanding at this time it's one shooter is what I've been told. And as soon as uh, I get the information, I'm going to come back and give it to you. As soon as you let me do that that uh, I can come back and give it to you. How about the name of the business? Uh, I don't know the name of the business. It's 1000 Legion's Place is my understanding. Barb, we were told by one of the employees inside that business that a former employee came there, hadn't worked for the company in a while. Right. And, and, and as I say, information is coming in to me from various sources at OPD, and I need to ensure that the information is accurate. So till I can go to that authoritative source to confirm that, which is something I heard, I can't confirm that information. I'm only giving you the basic information. You need to be patient. And as soon as as I can, I will return with you with hopefully uh, a suspect and I can give you that information.